Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. The, you're watching anything and everything. My name is Frida. Today we're going to be doing a little bit uh, different. Uh, I'm going to show you how to crochet a koozie. And this is the koozie that we're going to be doing. And it will fit uh, on a water bottle or on a beer bottle. And it's uh, quite thick. And I can show you there. It's double thickness, and uh, I'll show you how to make that today. I'm just going to adjust the camera so that you can uh, watch along with me and, and see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so the yarn I'm using today, it's a cotton yarn. Um, the nice thing about these koozies is they're totally, totally washable. So yeah, just throw them in your washing machine if they get dirty. You can make them uh, different lengths. Um, I kind of like this length because it, it fits our hands. So, and you can make them different widths depending what you want to use them for. I've made them so that they fit the water bottle or they'll also nicely fit a beer bottle. And it keeps it cool. And if you have condensation, it soaks up the condensation, gives you some cushioning on the bottom. So let's, let's start. I am using a five millimeter um, crochet hook. And uh, five millimeter is, in the US it's H or a number eight. In Canada, it is a number six, and it is a five millimeter. I have a chart that I made up for crochet hooks. I don't know if that's showing. I also have it for knitting needles on the back. I will post a, a picture of that as well. And it, it has come in handy so many times. So I know this isn't the way everybody starts, but what I do, I make a loop like that and loop my yarn through so you're basically just making a knot um, might not be the proper way to do it this is the way I have done it for years and years and it works well for me just want to make it a little bit smaller put my crochet hook through and then I'm going to chain 15 so I have my crochet hook through I'm just going to loop the yarn around and pull it through 15 times. Okay, just going to double check that I have 15. I'm a firm believer in double checking because if you make a mistake, it's a lot easier to check it as you're going than to go back, undo it, and start again. Now I'm going to do one more chain. Okay, and then I'm going to go in the second uh, chain. I'm going to skip that last one I just did. I'm going to go in the second chain and I'm going to do a single crochet. So I'm going through, picking up my yarn, pulling it through like that, and pulling the th yarn through again, just like that. I'm going to do that all the way back. So it'll be 15 times. This yarn is the same yarn as I use to make uh, uh, dishcloths. It's a cotton yarn, comes in a big ball. I bought it at Walmart. 
I don't know how much the balls are now. I think they're around $12 for a big ball. And boy, you can make a lot of stuff out of it. So it's very simple, single crochet. Give myself some yarn to work with. It gets too tight. Okay, and the last one. Okay, so that's 15. Now what we're gonna do again is we're going to do another chain. Chain one. And then here's where it gets a little tricky, depending on your yarn. Okay, so we're gonna turn our, our uh, koozie around like that and we're gonna skip that chain we just did we're going to go in the second chain. We're going to pick up the back of that uh, stitch. And the original row, we're going to pick up the back of that stitch as well, both of them. So it looks like that. And you're going to get your yarn, put your yarn around, pull it through the two stitches, and do a single crochet like that. I'm going to do it again through the back loop, through the back loop of your original, pull it through both loops, and a single crochet. We're going to do that all the way back, so 15 times. It's a little tricky to get started because um, sometimes the yarn will separate a little bit, but make sure you're going in the, the right stitch. Loop the yarn around, through, and a single crochet. And when it's small like this, it's hard to hang on to, but once you get going, it goes really fast and easy. through the back loop of each row. This is the stitch I use to make pot holders or hot pads because it's nice and thick. That stitch isn't cooperating. Whoop, getting two there. There we go. Yarn around, single crochet. I can't go as fast as I used to go. My hands just don't cooperate. But yeah, this makes a nice thick hot pad and that's kind of where I got the idea because I, I looked at the dollar store at the koozies and they wanted $5 for a foam koozie, and I thought, how well will that wash up? Because they get grubby after a while. In the summer when you're using them, your hands are sweaty. So I started thinking, I thought, well, why can't I make my own using that stitch? Because it'll make it nice and thick and absorbent. And so I made one, and I thought, well, that turned out pretty darn good. So I was very pleased with that. I have a few more to make before the summer, but it's a good project to do while you're sitting watching TV or watching YouTube or anything you do where your hands are free. Now this last one is a little tricky. Make sure you get it through the right loop. Whoops. There's my first loop and my second loop. Okay, pulled it through, single crochet. And then again, we're gonna do another chain, chain one. The end of each row, you're gonna chain one. And then we're gonna do the same thing again. 
Here's where the double thickness comes in. We're going to pick up second stitch over, second chain over, back loop, and then down here, we're going to pick up that back loop as well from that previous row. I tend to make my stitches, I, I tend to crochet tight. I, I knit tight too for some reason. Okay, loop around your yarn, come through the two back loops and a single crochet. Gonna do that all the way back. You can see it's getting easier already because my back loops are kind of jumping out at me here. Through the back, through the back, through both. Like I said, you can make them longer. Um, like you can add, instead of 15 stitches, go to 20 if you like to have them a little bit higher. I guess it'd be higher, not longer. Um, if you want them a little wider, if you have a wider water, water bottle that you want to put a koozie on or drink glass, whatever you want to do. You can make it whatever color you want. Mix and match your colors. Okay, and then we're going to, oh, I think I got one more here. It's a little curly at first. Okay, single crochet. Okay, now we're doing another chain and we're gonna do the same thing again. Make sure I got the right yarn. Okay, we're gonna go in the back and in the back, through, oops, I think I picked up the wrong stitch there. I did. Okay, I'll go in the back. Come on. It's trouble when you're working with a a thicker that stitch is trying to hide on me. A thicker needle. There we go. Okay. It's not always this difficult. Only when you're trying to do a YouTube video. Through the back. Through the back of the previous row. Pull it through. Anyway, you keep going like that, so you can see how thick it's becoming. This is what it looks like on each side. Okay, so you keep going until you get it like this, the length you want. And I do 25 rows, so you can count them. And it should come to 25 and that fits the water bo bottle perfectly. So once you get your 25 rows, 
to attach them together. I bring them together like this and I always crochet them together. Just gonna tighten up my yarn here. Okay, so the last row I finished here, I didn't do a chain at the end of it. Because I don't need to have that extra stitch. And if you like, you can pick up both pieces of yarn, your tail from when you started, your tail when you started, and your other piece of yarn, if you like. Okay, now we're gonna go through our last stitch and through the first stitch of the other side. And I'm pulling both pieces of yarn through and just doing a single crochet. And I'm gonna do that all the way across, just through my second stitch, through the second stitch, Pull, and that way you're finishing your other tail of yarn as well. If you don't do it that way, you can take a needle and then just work it through. Okay, that other piece is getting too short now. So just use my my one go through single crochet go through I'm going to do this all the way across so I'm just going through each of the single crochets on either side of my koozie. If you don't want to crochet them together, you can take a needle, a darning needle, and just sew them together if that's what you prefer. It's totally up to you. Last one. Now what I do here, I always do another chain before I, I cut my yarn just to make it a knot. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of, of a tail. And then we're just going to pull it right through. And that way I can work this, this tail into my row here. I'm going to cut that little piece of yarn there. Don't need that. Okay, so our koozie is together. When you flip it over, you've got a nice finished seam. So now what we have to do is we have to do the bottom. So I'm going to flip it back inside out. And to do the bottom, I get my yarn, do my loop around and through. Okay. For the bottom, I'm going to chain five. OK, 
Okay, and then I'm going to go back into my, my first stitch Whoop. to tie it together, pull it through, just like that. So I've got a little circle, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 10 single crochets in that circle. And, but I'm going to also hide this tail as I'm going. So I'm going to go through my circle, pick up my yarn, and one single crochet. I'm going to do that 10 times. And I'm encasing my little tail as I go. You can move your stitches over if you have to. I think that's 10. Yep, okay. Now I'm going to go into my first single crochet. I'm going to go through both top and bottom like that. I'm going to pull my yarn through that and through the stitch I just did. So it looks like that. Now I'm going to do a chain because I want to get it to the right height. And then in the first stitch, I'm going to do two double crochet, uh, two single crochets. I'm going to go through the both, the whole stitch like that. Pull my yarn through. And then in that same stitch, I'm going to do another single crochet. Okay. Then I'm going to go into the next stitch and I'm doing one single crochet. Next one, I'm doing two. So I alternate single crochet, two single crochets all the way around. So that was two in there. Next one, I'm going to do one. Next one, two. And one. and two. One and two. And one. Okay, and then I'm going to go in that first single crochet I did on the previous row I'm going to pull my yarn through to finish that row so we have a little circle like that but as you can see it's not going to fit in there yet so we have to do another row whoops get my yarn so we're going to do a single crochet again Go into the next stitch and do two. And the same thing, we're going to alternate single crochet and double crochet. Single crochet and double. All the way around. The reason we do it that way is if you just did a single crochet in each one, your circle would start to, well, would start to form a, a cup like this. It won't lay flat. So if we do 
alternate a single crochet and two single crochets. That may, makes it lay nice and flat. Now I never checked on YouTube. I don't know if anybody else has ever done koozies this way. Um, it was just something I was thinking about and I thought, boy, they're expensive to buy in the store for what you get. I hate to buy something that I can just make. And these are washable. That's the nice part about them. So I'm only going to do a single one in there because that's actually where I started. I guess I could do an extra one. Oh, let's do a double in there. Why screw up the pattern? Okay, now I'm going to go back through that one. There we go. So we got fitting a little bit better. I didn't write down my pattern, of course, so I'm, I'm looking at my koozie trying to figure out how many rows I did. So let's do one more row just to be safe. Okay, we did a single, now we're doing a double. I've been beating lately, so I've kind of forgot what I did on that koozie. And I didn't write it down. I, I'm, as, I'm as bad as my mom. My mom would do patterns and she'd have it in her head. Except her memory was a little better than mine is. <laughs> even, even at 92, her memory was better than mine. She did beautiful crocheting. Busy talking and I'm not paying attention. Okay, this one's a double. Single and a double. This is something you can do if you're traveling in the car and someone else is driving. If you're going on a long trip. I'm going to a, a doctor's appointment I take my little bag of crocheting with me and I sit in the waiting room and work on my my crocheting while I'm waiting any place you go that you have to to wait it's a good pastime okay we're getting to the end of this row Okay, so a few more to go. Single in there, double in there, and a single. And then we're going to loop it through to attach. And then we're going to do one more chain. And I'm going to leave a fair bit of tail on here because I want to attach it to my koozie. Let's leave how much we got here. I always like to leave more than less. 
Okay, that should be good. Put that yarn aside. And we're going to pull that through to make a whoop, make a knot. Finish that off. Okay. Now, before I attach it to my koozie, I'm just going to get rid of this tail here. So I've got a darning needle. You can get different sizes. Uh, I have a longer one as well. So I like the, the shorter one for when I'm doing this. And it's got a, a, a dull end. That's why it's great for darning. And it's got a nice big eye. I can get the yarn through it. I can actually see it. <laughs> so I'm just going to loop this through underneath like this. Get rid of this tail. Just like that. Okay, cut it nice and close. Like I said, you can see how nice and flat that sits by doing a single crochet and double crochet alternating. It's, it's nice and flat. Okay, so I've got the Putting my two, okay, the wrong side of my, um, oh, my little bottom. <laughs> and I've got my koozie inside out. Why don't we get rid of this tail as well while we're at it? Before we put our bottom on, then we don't have to fight with that extra yarn in our way. And what I do with this, I'm just looping it through these stitches I did to fasten my sides together. Okay, that's good and secure. Cut it nice and close. Just like that. Okay, got rid of that. And it really doesn't matter which end you put your, your bottom on. It makes no difference. I'm thinking this end looks a little tighter. I think I'm going to put it on this end here. So you want to put your right side Oops, sorry. Want to put your wrong side out like that because you have the wrong side of the koozie there as well. Inside out. Okay. Now we're going to start looping it through. Doesn't matter where we start. We don't have to start here. Gonna loop. Let's go under the stitch here. Oh, come on, cooperate. My hands aren't working. Okay, just pull it through. Now we're gonna loop it around into our next stitch. And pull it through. So you're not crocheting anymore at this point, you are sewing. Make sure you go through every stitch on your bottom. Pull it nice and tight as you go.
If you want the koozie a little tighter, don't do 25 rows, do less. Do 24 or 23, it does stretch because of the way it's crocheted, it will stretch a bit. So yeah, you, you decide, you can stop anywhere. Make it any width you want, make it any height you want. couple more and then we're at the end here. Okay, we're at the end so that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to get rid of my tail here, so I'm just going to go around. I'm going to do one more here just to keep my yarn hooked around my koozie here. My yarn in place so it doesn't unravel. Okay, now I'm just going to go under my, my loops that I did just to get rid of the tail of my yarn. As you can see, I have way too much yarn, but boy, you, do, you don't want to be short. Then you got to knot your yarn together and that's no fun. Because your knot will show, you got to try to hide your knot. Okay, that should be good. Get rid of our tail. Now we're going to flip our koozie inside out. And there you've got your, your nice bottom. Your, your beer bottle in it, your water bottle, and this one ended up, I must have cro uh, crocheted this one a little looser than I did this one. As you can see, there's a little bit of a height difference, which is neither here nor there. Now, one thing you can do uh, with the koozie when you turn it right side out again if you don't like how this seam looks, um, it looks like this, or you can do what I did on this one. I tightened the seam and the way I did that is I just squeezed the, these two together to where they meet like this. Get it up to my camera here. Okay, so I kind of squeeze that together. Then we're going to start at the bottom here. If I can get my, my needle through. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail so that I can loop that through inside afterwards. Turn it inside out and get rid of that tail. So I'm going to pull that together like that. I'm going to go all the way along. Okay, 
pull it nice and tight. Oops. cramp in my hand. Pull it nice and tight. And do that all the way up. You want to make sure you loop it through a, a a couple of areas. Don't just loop it through this top one. Go through a couple. Like that. Because this is your outside that you're going to be seeing. So you want to make it as neat as possible. The other thing you can do instead of crocheting this seam. Uh, take a couple rows off, so only do 23 rows around, and then just do this to finish it off on the inside. I thought it looked kind of neat with this little bit of an accent stitch on the outside. Not everybody's cup of tea, but you do what you like. You can do it either way. Sew it together with the darning needle or crochet it together like I did. Makes it nice and strong. Either way is fine. Either way works. off the top here I'm going to turn it around inside out pull my top nice and tight and I'm just going to go on this inside crochet seam Give it a nice tight pull. Go through there a few times. Just going back and forth a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of my tail here in a second. Well, I guess we can do it on this side. I'm, oh, there's my tail. Just going to loop it through on the top of these because we don't want it to show on the other side. And we just have to go through a few just to My hands are really not cooperating today. Okay. Whoops. Cut it nice and close. And then remember we have that other whoop, that other tail in here. My little guy. Okay, let's bring this through to the other side. I'm just gonna Push it through like that, pull it through, turn it inside out again, so we can finish off this tail. Let's loop it around a couple times. OK, 
Okay, and then like before, we're just going to go underneath these stitches on top here. Go through a few of them. Oh, getting cramps in my hands. Just like that. Cut it nice and short. There we go. There's our koozie. And uh, enjoy making them. We really appreciate you, you watching. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Um, it is getting a, a little busier for us this time of year with spring coming. We'll be working outside. So we, we won't be posting as many videos. We'll, we'll try to still post some. We're still planning our trip to Alaska. Um, and so we, we're going to have to get ready for that. We're hoping to leave uh, in, a, in May. So, um, yeah, that's going to be a fun event. We'll be posting some videos about our trip to Alaska as well. And uh, we really appreciate you watching. Um, stay healthy and stay active. And everyone take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.